the hospital, general hospital in Ota. People are stranded, they are locked down, they are not allowed to go in. Strike you are. Strike you are. Ah. Oh, then anybody know. Oh, then anybody know. So, when I don't have a you see anybody. So, they are sent driving people back home. They are pregnant women, those looking for antenatal appointment. So this is premises of the hospital. You can see it's dry. People who came are stranded. And if you look there, you see somebody holding his child. Holding his child on his shoulders. That person is stranded, is unable to. If you look in, you see another situation there. People are there for respective health issues, but nobody is going to attend to them. So that is, I've just showed you one. That's just one of it. I'm going to show you others. Let me go to secondary school. Now I'm at the front of Igomode Grammar School. You can see students are going back home. Those who managed to still come, despite announcements that the school is shut, are also being sent back home. So what will become of all these students now who are going back home? Teachers are on strike, like every other workers are also on strike. Workers in the state are on strike. Yeah, civil servants are on strike. Workers are on strike, so students are going back home because they are all shut down. There is no money, as they will say, for workers and for people, but there's money for politics. 100, 100 million naira to buy from, just to buy from, and several billions for primary, several billions for campaign, but no money for the people's welfare. That is the situation. Let me take you to the local government. This is the front of the local government in Ata, primary health center. So it's said to be 24 hour service. It's also, also locked down. You can see people coming out. Um, these are people stranded. I mean, they're all, everybody is just stranded and disappointed because, now let me take you, let me just take you straight to the local government itself. It's just across the road. Let's cross together. Just hold on. It can be crazy sometimes crossing here. Yeah. So you can see the front of the gate. It's locked. Uh, people are they are locked out. Workers are not. Um, workers are not in session. Nobody is. All the agencies. In fact, there's lab there. There are so many. There are so many offices within the local government secretariat that are responsible for various services but are all locked out. All locked out. All locked out. People are stranded. All locked out. Everybody locked out. So they are, they are, not, they are not open today and it's as a result of what you already know, the strike. You see, people are stranded. People can't go in to access or do whatever business they have within the local government today. But I think these people here came for renewals of licenses, vehicle license and the rest of them. But as you can see, it's under lock. It's under lock and keys. People can't access because it's locked. As a result of strike. So that's the situation. You can see people stranded there everywhere. Yeah, you continue to see. Now I take you to the town planning office. This is Ogun State Planning and Development Permit Authority, town planning. So it's also locked. If you have business here, sorry, come after strike. When will the strike end? Well, I do not have the answer. And this is Ogun State Judiciary Magistrate's Court, Family Court, Small Claims Court, Otter. This is Magistrate's Court in Otter. It's also affected. So I'll show you the gate is also under lock. So the state magistrate court order also locked. And you can apply this information to you can see the gate is locked, everywhere is dry. Don't get into trouble at this time. Even when even when it was open. <laughs> you know how long it usually takes uh, to get uh, to get outcome from court. So but right now, under locks. 